I mean, it's like I, I feel like I. But I just sharing. I think that my. I thought the number one question would be, how can you share one man, all three women? See, that's like not even. A, uh, it's not sharing. It's it's like you are getting. He's a really great guy because he knows how to do this. So in order, it's it's like you you get this part of this really great, awesome uh, polygamy and and this way of life. And we're hoping to kind of dispel some of that and say, hey, that's not us. That's not our family. And again, I have to point out that it is at this point illegal. So that that we have to point out. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. I And I hope you are having a wonderful day. Yesterday, we learned that Mary Brown moved from Flagstaff, Arizona into her bed and breakfast in Utah, Parowan, Utah, that is. Miss Mary Brown has owned and operated a bed and breakfast called Lizzie's Heritage Inn, which is a home and that has multiple rooms that people can rent out. And she has been doing this since at least 2017. And now she's about to make her life permanent in Parowan for now. And this has sparked so many rumors online because immediately a photograph was shown of Mary with Cody moving. And then somebody that happened to be from Las Vegas was driving through Utah and happened to see Cody and uh, Robin and Mary moving things into Mary's bed and breakfast. And this spawned online rumors that Mary would be moving into her bed and breakfast, not just by herself, but that Cody and Robin would be joining her because nothing sells, nothing sounds more practical than Cody, Robin, and five kids and Mary moving into a four bedroom house. While the inn is a beautiful home, it is also a business. It is operated as a business. It is listed as a business in the city. So Robin and Cody are definitely not moving into this home. Uh, they were for sure, though, helping Mary move. And I guess Cody and Mary are working towards having more of an amiable friendship. They're not necessarily getting back together, friends. Apparently, this is her and Cody just trying to find common ground since they obviously share a child in common. So let's uh, talk about how that false, that rumor is definitely false, but there's a new rumor floating around, and that is that Robin is apparently mad at Cody uh, or mad at Mary for moving. <sighs> this directly contradicts uh, statements that Gwendolyn Brown made that Robin has claimed that she doesn't feel like part of the family anymore. Uh, and apparently Robin is talking to the son or someone, one of her friends is, let's just say. And she's claiming that she's upset that the family can't be together anymore and she's really mad at Mary for leaving her. I'm not choosing it. I didn't make these choices, they did. They're making those choices, but somehow I get lumped into it. Somehow I get pulled into it. So Robin is stuck in a monogamous marriage with Cody and I was digging through archives, you guys. And back when she first, when they first went public back in like 2010, they were interviewed by Meredith Vieira and she was asking questions about, you know, what's the biggest issue and uh, what are the biggest problems in the relationship? And the, the question about sharing men came up and Robin was defending Cody and saying, he's so good at what he does. You don't even notice that you get him a quarter of the time. And then at the end of the interview, she said that they wanted to go public so that because there's so much bad press about polygamy out there and they want to show that polygamy is great. And then Me Meredith basically cut her off and was all like, we have to remind viewers that this is an illegal activity. <laughs> Meredith was like, yo, I'm not, I don't have time for you, Robin, at all. Even Meredith was bored with Robin back in 2010. Okay, so let's dive into today's topic of Robin Brown is mad at Mary and their feud is getting worse. And my belief and my actual, uh, Robin says she's mad, but what does this actually mean? As if I could speak the language of Robin. In my marriage, I'm gonna treat my this person like my best customer. You know how they had that show like The Dog Whisperer? I think I will start a channel called Cody and Robin Whisperer. I'm gonna tell you what my thoughts are on what this means. So let's dive into today's topic. Before we do, can you please do, do me a big favor? 
and give this video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. I noticed a lot of you have been subscribing lately. I want to point out it's absolutely free. I saw a couple comments in my last video and they said, Katie, I would love to subscribe, but I don't want to pay. You don't. All you have to do is click subscribe. It's totally free. And then if you have something to say, make sure to leave a comment. If you want to get notified, click on the bell. And if you have uh, any other like things that you like, if you love this content, share, share this with your friends. If you love to watch this with your friends, let me know in the comments. Okay. So there's a brand new article that came out by the sun. And I just want to preface this by saying something. First of all, I was the one, I believe I was the first outlet yesterday that actually reported that Mary's rental had hit the market. And then after I reported it, basically all the other outlets picked it up for the sum, for some reason, either the sun doesn't understand how property real estate works in the United States or they just want to make it seem like Mary has the ability to list her rental, but they said that she listed her rental for rent, and that's not true. She had nothing to do with the rental listing, and they also claimed that Christine was listing her duplex. First of all, Christine never owned that duplex. The duplex is owned by some guy. I don't know what his name is, but I remember it was a man, and it's never been hers. She's only ever rented it. So. I don't know like if they don't understand real estate law, I'm not sure, but I just wanna clear that up in case you see those rumors. So the property is listed for rent as either a single renter or a family, and that is because they don't want to have college kids renting the home out and having a bunch of like unmarried partners living and destroying the house together. Mary Brown has decided to move and this is going to be permanent and that's exactly what the Sun was reporting, but it now dives into why Robin is upset. So it says, mad at Mary. Robin Brown is not happy about Mary's move to Utah as she wants the family to stay together in Arizona. Do you think Robin missed the memo where Cody and Robin or Cody and Mary released a joint statement where they said that their marriage was terminated? Once someone is like done in a relationship, they're under no obligation to stay in a part of the country where they have no friends or family. Just saying. So apparently Robin was not supportive of Mary Brown moving to Utah. Do you think it's because Robin's all like, oh, this is me being Robin Whisper. Oh, if Mary moves, then I actually have to get a job. What to do? What to do? So the house that she was living in is now listed and Cody helped Mary move her belongings from Utah to, or from Arizona to Utah. And they obviously, I showed you the photograph that was posted on Reddit by the woman of them at a gas station looking super happy. And she is, uh, Robin has apparently spoken to the sun. I mean, someone that knows Robin has spoken to the sun and shared her reaction. And they say, Robin is not happy about Mary's move. She wants some of the family to stay together and would prefer it be Mary. Cody has showed his support with Mary's move given he was spotted helping her this past weekend. But Robin was in disagreement. She doesn't understand why Cody won't try keeping the family together. This just reminds me of when Cody and Christine broke up and Robin said that she didn't see that they were divorced. Do you remember that? And she said that Christine would technically have to sleep with another man before they could break their covenant. And in her eyes, because they hadn't gone through the church and because Christine had not yet slept with another man, she considered Cody and Christine still married. So now I'm wondering if Robin is again in denial about this marriage ending and is telling herself again that they're still together. And now she's mad at Cody for not wanting to keep the family together. But the reality is, is Cody hasn't wanted to be with Mary for years. They totally have split up and they have decided to move on. Now, Mary would probably take him back, I think, if Cody would let her back into his life. But she's mad at Cody for not trying to keep the family together. The, this again is like two things. I think one, they need Mary's money because Mary literally makes the most money out of all of these people. And two, the more people that actually leave and the more final that this becomes, this means that if Robin is still a true believer in this polygamous world, she believes that she's losing her celestial kingdom because now that she's lost Christine, Cody doesn't have four wives anymore, so that's screwed. And if Mary goes, then oh my gosh, then there's really only two wives because Janelle has separated from Cody, but she's still technically spiritually married. 
Got it. I'd also like to point out that Robin doesn't see herself as family to anyone but Mary and Cody, apparently. Janelle is apparently the only one that's remaining in Flagstaff, and the reason why she's remaining Flagstaff is because she has her boys that live there, obviously, and she still has Savannah that's in school. So Mary has not addressed anything to do with this move. She hasn't mentioned anything, but the son says that this is going to be a permanent move, which is obvious. They also claim that Cody and Mary are working on their friendship. And apparently because Robin doesn't agree with Cody letting the wives go and isn't in agreement with this whole monogamy idea, she apparently does, she wants Cody to get back together with the wives. I mean, of course she does because Robin doesn't want to work and Mary makes a lot of money. I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, but that's my Robin whisper. And then on top of that, like if she still believes in this whole faith, she needs at least three wives for them to get into the celestial kingdom. So they're like ruining her chance of being She-Ra, remember that in the book, or a goddess in heaven. She doesn't want to be a monogamist wife. And so her identity is all screwed up and she is wants Mary and Cody to repair their relationship and wants Cody to work on getting back together with Mary. And now that Mary's made the decision to move, she's mad at Cody for not fixing the relationship. But the truth is, is like, Mary has to move on. And it's weird because in this last season, Robin even said, I wouldn't blame Mary if she gave up, if she just stopped trying, if she couldn't wait anymore. I wouldn't blame her if she left. And, and Cody has done nothing and they, they, their relationship ended. So what more does she want? Does she really just want like Mary to stay in purgatory? You know, I grew up Catholic. And so like, they always say that like, okay, some Catholics will say that they don't talk about purgatory anymore, but I heard about it all the time growing up. I heard about it at funerals. And I feel like Robin is expecting Mary to stay in relationship purgatory forever where she's not out of a relation where she's out of the relationship but she's not single yet so she just wants Mary to stay in relationship purgatory forever as long as she can stay there in neutral and still pretending to be married in the celestial kingdom so Robin can get the money that Mary has and her goddessness in heaven. And Robin is apparently convinced that Cody fixing all of his mar marital problems will fix the show and their show will boom because everyone wants to see Cody get his life back, Cody get his groove back and get back into his faith and everyone will see him and care that he rebuilds his family. Oh man. So Robin is mad at Mary. Robin was also upset with Christine for leaving. And she was mad at Cody for not doing the work. And she kept saying that none of them are taking care of their relationships. And she's tired of being the one that's the whipping boy and yelled at and blamed at for everything. And then here she is. She's made life hell for all of them. Cody's pushed everyone away. All of these other wives are tired of his bull crap. And so they're finally moving on to find happiness. And Robin's like, I don't want to be stuck with this loser. I need your money so I can buy things on Amazon, so I can have my $8,000 uh, rocks, amethyst, that sit on my floor. I need my statues that are all very expensive. I need paintings to cover every inch of every wall. And I need my tea cup, I need my tea, my tea sets from Tiffany, not anywhere else. And I can't do that if you guys aren't here. I have shopping to do, you guys. Get back and get submissive. Mm -hmm. He's had wives reject him affection wise because they are uncomfortable or they don't like it. That's not submissive. who they are. That's like my imagining Robin at, with Cody. Fix this so I can go shopping. You have an orange. I have an apple. It's different. Be their best customer. About what you didn't get, even though you have this apple in your hand, mm -hmm. but you really want her orange, then how is he supposed to feel like you see what he's doing for you? Mm -hmm. How is he supposed to feel appreciated? But Robin yeah, is I apparently furious and wants Mary to stay. And Mary's all like, I'm outie, 500. Mary is apparently done having anything to do with Arizona. Now, as far as what they say about Mary and what her thoughts are on the move are, is that she's done with anything to do with Arizona. She's moving on. Uh, Cody was helpful in helping her move and supportive of her decision and that they are just going to be working on their friendship and she has made the decision to move permanently into her bed and breakfast and that's her plans for now. So her plans are to be at home in the home that she owns, run the inn, do that 
run her LuLaRoe and her business together, and then that will be her life, and she'll be happy there. And Mary will likely not be on the show very much. Uh, the move was definitely filmed. Cody was very supportive of Mary leaving, and he's probably like, freedom at last. And then meanwhile, Robin is like, why are you doing this to me, Cody? I need to go shopping. So Robin doesn't care about Cody being free of Mary and doesn't care... This to me feels very selfish. Like Robin is not a good friend that actually cares about her friends. And I've said this a million times, but Robin is the friend that will like, you will say I'm in an abusive relationship and she will say, no, you're not. You are actually just not looking at it in the right perspective. You are actually seeing things in a negative perspective. And if you were just more submissive and didn't have such entitlement and weren't so fat with stretch marks, Cody would like you more because she basically fat shamed everyone on the tell all. I don't know. Either way, Robin and Mary's relationship continues to deteriorate. Robin wants Mary's money. Mary wants to move on. Cody wants Mary to move on. And Robin's still like, can we be a polygamist family? I didn't sign up for this because I don't want to work. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.